What's good, y'all? It's your boy, B-Tow, and this is B-Tow TV. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to share this recipe with you guys. This recipe right here is a vegan chocolate chip cookie recipe. And let me tell you, it was good. I'm not kidding. I'm not fronting. Honest to God, truth, it was bomb, man. So before we get started with this video, I need y'all to do something for me real quick. Can y'all click that subscribe button down there? I don't know exactly where it is, but can y'all click the notification bell so that y'all can get notified when I make a new video? So if you like what I'm doing, I need you to click that like button. I want you to comment, even share the video. But I'm not gonna talk your ear off. We're gonna get straight into this recipe video. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then you're gonna take one tablespoon of ground flax seed and then you're gonna add three tablespoons of water. So what we're doing is creating a flax egg, which is a substitute for eggs since we can't have it as vegans. So you're gonna mix this together, let it sit and thicken up. And we're gonna use that later in the recipe. So let's get this going. Okay, so for this next part, I'm using spelt flour and this is the brand that I use, but you can use whatever kind of flour you want, any kind. So I'm taking one cup and then another half cup of spelt flour. Then we take one teaspoon of baking soda and then a half teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna throw that right on in. Okay, so what this is is our dry ingredients and we're gonna get my real fast mixing skills. Look at this. You see this? Look at, yes, I did that. All right, so let's just move on to our next bowl. Now we need vegan butter. Now this is the brand that I use, but you guys are free to use whichever kind you want, as long as it's vegan, all right? So we need a half cup of the vegan butter. It's best to have it at room temperature, but I kind of melted mine in the microwave, you know, vegan bachelor. To this butter, you're gonna add a half cup of packed brown sugar. You can use light or dark. And this is the brand of white sugar that I used. Now maybe one day I'll try it with coconut sugar. Okay, so now you're gonna take one third cup of the sugar and you're gonna add it to the other ingredients. You're gonna get your whisk and you're gonna mix it up real good. Now remember those skills I told you all about? I'm about to use them real super fast skills right now. Put my skills to work. Put my skills to work. Put my skills to work, 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 work. All right, now make it look real nice. Okay, next step. Remember that flax egg we made earlier and we set it aside? We're gonna take that and we're gonna add it to the butter sugar mixture. Okay, so this part is optional. I didn't do it because I forgot to buy some vanilla extract, but you would just add one teaspoon. And I promise the cookies will still taste the same with or without the extract. Insert skills here. Mix it up, hey, mix it up, hey, mix it up. All right, so we are getting close to the end. We're about to mix our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. Now, if you haven't noticed, all the ingredients that we've used so far have been nothing different than what you use in regular cookie recipes, except for the vegan butter and the flax egg. Now, you know what time it is. It's time for me to put my skills into motion. Okay, yes. No, I do not have a hand mixer, but I'm a vegan bachelor and I made it do what it do with the big old spoon. Okay, so here's the part that everybody is waiting for, the chocolate chips now this is the brand that i used because my aunt evie got me these chocolate chips and man let me tell you i used a half a cup i didn't even use the whole bag okay so now i'm gonna use my super fast mixing skills one last time and go and done see that didn't even take that long okay so here's the best part baking these bad boys all right so i used a tablespoon and i just just to make it even now for the first batch i left the scoops as is but for the next couple batches i took the scoops and rolled them in my hands before i placed them on the cookie sheet okay now we almost there y'all we almost there now we're about to bake these in the oven for about 12 minutes now, if you could just excuse the long look at these cookies, I took them out about nine minutes in just so they could bake the rest of the way on top of the oven, which ensures for a delicious, moist cookie. Now, you can go ahead and lie to yourself, but can't nobody tell me these don't look good. Look at them. Just look at these cookies, man. Tell me they don't look good. I want you to. Because I'll just tell you, it's a lie, man. These cookies are bomb. Now, look how soft they are. Watch this slow motion. Hey, yup, bruh. Now you don't have to take my word for it. Here's a few people who have tried the vegan chocolate chip cookies for themselves and here's what they had to say. 
That's a vegan cookie, and it's good. See? I'm going from size 1 to size 10. <laughs> Really good. Like I have to say, it's like a real chocolate chip cookie. It is good. You See? See? I'm trying to tell y'all. Trying to tell y'all. Mmm. <laughs> and this. Vegan. This vegan? Yep. It's a vegan cookie. Thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Yep.